Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for September the 30th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy. And then after that, I'm going to pull one card for each sign. And we will just see how those two energies work together and what that means for each sign as we go through the day. All right, so overall energy shows up as the magician. We like the magician. That's a nice card to have show up. Just means that we are um, creating those things that we want to create in our lives, that we're doing what we need to to make things happen. All right, there's our first card. And this is gonna be for Aries. Okay, so for Aries, what we have showing up is the King of Cups with his back facing us. So King of Cups. So Aries, this is interesting because I think what's going on here is you're sort of focusing on things other than um, emotional things, other than personal things, other than relationships. So whatever you're manifesting in, this is going to be more in the logical realm than it is in the emotional realm. Next, we're looking at Taurus with that Knight of Swords showing up in reverse. So, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on? Taurus, I really feel like there's a lot of gossip going around about us. And that actually is what has us motivated to manifest those things that we want to manifest. You know, like there's something about having a target or a goal for yourself and working on that target or goal. And then for a lot of people, there is something even more compelling about showing somebody else what we can do, what we're really all about. So if there's gossip going around, those of us with tourist placements, this is actually motivating us to get serious about our own manifesting. If somebody's been saying, oh, they can't do that or you know, they're too lazy to do that or whatever it is that they're saying. I think we are setting out to prove them wrong. All right, next up, we're looking at Gemini's. So Gemini's, we do have a four of wands showing up here, that side in reverse. Ba -ba -da -da. Gemini's, I think that you have made some type of commitment to home or to family. And that is what is motivating you to start really getting serious about manifesting those things that you want to manifest in your experience. Next up, we're looking at Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Cancer, somebody has shown you their true colors. And I think that you're realizing that, you know what? Nobody is really going to manifest for you the way that you can manifest for you. People can say all they want to, but really the elbow grease comes down to you. And so this actually is what is propelling you towards manifesting what you want into your life, Cancers. All right, so next up, we're looking at Leo, Leo, Leo. So Ten of Pentacles showing up in reverse for those of you, with, or excuse me, not in reverse, straight up. Ten of Pentacles showing up for Leos along with the Magician card in the overall energy. So Leos, this just tells me that what you're working on manifesting more of in your space is that sense of security and stability and security and stability is not just about money guys sometimes it's about relationships and i'm going to tell you i think some of you leos are manifesting security and stability by bringing a new pet into the house that's what i'm going to say next up we're looking at virgo 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 okay so virgos seven of swords showing up here with the magician this is interesting this tells me that you've got some kind of side hustle or that whatever it is that you're manifesting it's not something that everybody really knows about and not only is it not something that everybody really knows about it's something that you sort of have to sneak away from other obligations to be able to create this manifestation that you're working on so that's for Virgo next up we're looking at Libra 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 Libras, you guys, you're, oh, you're, you've got analysis paralysis. You've got so many great things that you could manifest into your life that you're having a hard time focusing and, and actually manifesting one of them. You're just spending energy here and then there and then there, but you're not finishing anything up. And so I don't know how much progress you're actually even making either just because that energy is so scattered. 
But best advice on this is if you're trying to manifest something good into your life, really focus on something. Find something that is the most important to you and really focus on that. Next up, let's look at Scorpio. Scorpios, Eight of Wands showing up in reverse. This is being quiet. We're not really communicating a whole lot with other people. This isn't exactly hermit mode. It's just that we're not doing a whole lot of our normal communication. We're being quieter than usual. It's kind of like a mini version of a hermit mode. <laughs> we may not be secluding, but we're not saying much. And that not saying much is helping us to really uh, manifest those things that we want to manifest in our life. So we may be being quiet because we're really focusing on something career oriented. We're focusing on finishing a certain project, whatever it is. We're being really quiet while we work on it, but that's actually helping us with our manifestation. Okay, so that was Scorpio. Next up is Sagittarius with that Six of Pentacles coming up in reverse and the Magician overall. So. Six of Pentacles in reverse Sagittarius. I think that you're paying something off or paying something back. This is a really positive card here. And I think that that is helping you to manifest as you move forward. It's loosening up that budget and helping you to manifest. Ba -ba -da -da -da, Capricorn. Capricorn, Eight of Swords in reverse. This tells me basically that you've been overthinking something for a while. You've been in analysis paralysis and not really able to move forward because you didn't feel like you were ready as far as information wise. With this Eight of Swords, you're breaking free from that. You're recognizing that you're kind of your only, your only enemy here, <laughs> your only obstacle, your only slowdown. So you're breaking free from that overthinking and that analysis paralysis and you're moving forward with the manifestation that you want to bring into your life. Woo -woo. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. So Aquarius, you guys have the Page of Wands. I really, really, really like it. Basically means that you're taking a creative idea that you had and you're moving forward with it very enthusiastically and, passionate with, and passionately to create in your life those manifestations that you want to create. Ba -da 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 -da, and Pisces. Three of Wands. You're manifesting some kind of, for most of you, travel plans. But for others of you, this may just be long-term plans of any kind. But I do feel like 80 to 90% of you, we're looking at you're putting together some travel plans and things are starting to fall together on that today. Okay. So guys, thank you so much. You all are my sponsors. So thank you for putting thumbs ups on this video, sharing it, and putting comments below. I am looking forward to working with some of you one-on-one -on -one later on today. And the rest of you, I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.